Hi, my name is Sam Kippen and my student number is T00698764. And I just wanted to talk about making client connections today. So there's a few different ways that you can strengthen your uh, communication and your connection with your clients. Um, I would definitely suggest making small talk, just like we read in the article. Um, especially when you're making small talk, make sure to really remember the details that the clients are sharing with you. Uh, because it'd be great if you could actually remember those details, retain them, and bring them up again later. The next time that the client's in, you can follow up, you can have something to talk about with that client. Uh, so that's always great. Um, it shows that the clients that you do care about them and that you do listen and you're not just um, really zoning them out or having the information come in one year and then out the other. You're actually retaining that information. Um, I also create reminders uh, to follow up with clients after they've been in the clinic for something like a Medicam injection or um, if we send out a 10 mil bottle of Medicam for like an acute injury or if they're just starting the Medicam, it, it's a good way just to follow up with them, see that the medication actually is working and it really shows them that you do care about their pet because you're following up so you know you're, you're not making any money off of that, that phone call but it does show the client that you do you do care. Uh, so I definitely advise you, you to do that. Um, and even though you're not making any money for the business through that phone call, you are actually retaining the client, which in turn does make more, more money for the, the business. Um, I also suggest asking open questions, just like the article stated, because if you ask open questions, if the owners do share a lot of information with you, that can be a really good indication that the owners do want to share, they do want to talk with you, and they are open to sharing some uh, personal details. Whereas if they end up being really closed off uh, and they don't give you a lot of information, that can be an indication that, you know, that maybe this client doesn't want to have a lot of small talk. Maybe this client doesn't want to share a lot of details. And, and that's fine too, but just knowing how you should communicate with the client is definitely helpful. And knowing how much that client's gonna wanna share with you is definitely helpful. So that's why it's a good idea to ask open questions. Um, we also use personalized sy sympathy cards. When a pet passes away, I create a, um, a sympathy card with information on it about what we really liked about the pet and what we remembered when the pet was coming in to the clinic, what we really remember about the pet. For instance, we have this one dog that's always coming in and smiling, gr grinning. It's a, um, a flat-coated retriever. And unfortunately that dog passed away recently. And in, th in that card, we, we said that we really missed the dog's smile because he was always friendly, always wanting to say hi to everyone. If there was other animals in the clinic, he was always wanting to say hi to them, always wanting to say hi to other people, always showing off his smile. So I included that as part of the sympathy, sympathy card just to make it more personal for the client and let them know, hey, like we really remember this pet and we really do uh, miss them and we're gonna miss seeing them. Um, being more personal with your clients can make the clinic feel a lot more uh, welcoming and it can make the clinic the clients feel a lot more comfortable coming into the clinic um, and if they feel more comfortable coming into the clinic they're likely to come back and they're likely to come in more which is great for the business but if they're coming in more it's also better for the pet because the, the, we're going to see the pet and we're going to be able to do rechecks and we're going to be able to make sure that the pet is in, in good health and give it all the treatment that that pet specifically needs so it's really important to be personable with your clients and make them feel comfortable when they're in the clinic. Um, I, at this point, I've been at my clinic for about four and a half years. So I have lots of clients that they're, they call in and, and they talk to someone that, that's not me and that person's just as able to, to help them as I am, but they remember me, I, they talk to me many times and they actually ask for me on the phone because they feel comfortable with me and that's because I've had lots of small talk with them. I have done lots of follow-ups just to make sure that their pet's doing well after visits and I, I've made more of a deeper connection w with that 
client. And I definitely encourage others in my, my clinic to do the same. Um, but sometimes people just feel more comfortable talking to someone that they know, especially when they are upset because their, their pet's not doing well. Like, it can be nice to just see the same person and um, talk to the same person that you've dealt with for the last several years. Uh, so yeah, I really def think that it's important for us to be building a deeper connection with our clients.